Hello, welcome to the Hexotic Council. I am Spencer, and today we will be reviewing a game called Proteus. As this is the first episode, I'm going to explain how we're going to do this real quick. I have with me the Council of Six, known otherwise as the Hexotic Council. A, uh, At your hello. service. Hello. Greetings. In turn, they will introduce themselves and talk about a specific area of game design and whether the game we are reviewing, Proteus in this case, did well in that subject. That being said, I'll start with the element of story after giving a short overview on the game. Proteus opens up with an island dead ahead of you. As soon as you reach it, you start to hear music. As you wander around, the music changes with your surroundings. Each night, you have an option to move on to the next season, starting in spring and ending in winter. Pretty straightforward. Now, as far as story goes, the game itself doesn't have an objective, and there aren't any words or signs to tell a story. However, there is an overall feel you get from exploring. Though most of the world is full of life and plants, you find ruins, what seem to be old, looming towers a collapsing cabin, graveyards. The music changes around these objects, and it gives the feeling that once, long ago, there were other people here. You start in spring, everything looks new and full of life. Summer is full of light and bold song. Fall is faded, but there are still reminiscent tones. Once winter hits, however, everything is dead. All music has faded into an eerie shadow of what it once was. And once the night comes, you slowly rise into the sky, closing your eyes for the last time upon this once beautiful world. Overall, it conveys a pretty good story of lost and forgotten memories and dreams, especially since I did it without a single word. I'd give the story a good 6 out of 10. Ah, uh, now it's my turn. The name's Malthus. I'm the mechanic of the group. Fortunately for me, this game doesn't have too many mechanics, so I don't have to talk too long. Anyway, you move around, look around, and it follows the mouse pretty well. Four out of ten. No further pleasantries needed. I am Sir Major General Brigadier Captain Commander James Dutch, at your service. Unlike most, this useless game doesn't involve violence, not a single drop of enemy blood. I mean, seriously, who wants a game like that? Zero out of ten! Yeah, now that that fool of the comrade is out of the way, it is my turn. Hey, Milovosh, I will be commenting on the uh, design of the game. As you can see, it is uh, very simplistic, but that is the style. Nothing glamorous, nothing extra. It is not badly made either, though, so I give the game five out of ten. Hey, oh man, little John here to talk about the vibes of the game, man. The beat changes as you go around, it takes on vibes and stuff all around it. Great mixtape going on here, dude, know what I'm saying? The whole thing has flown better than me in the studio, man. 10 out of 10, yo. We'll rap again. And last, but assuredly not least, it is I, Sir Belfroy. Surely you've heard of me before. I'm here to speak to you of morality. The only real lesson learned from this game appears to be about loss, and thus, I'm at a loss as to how to rate it. It does not have much to go on. So I will leave a 5 out of 10 rating to break even, so to speak. And for the final score, that gives us an overall 5 out of 10. Pretty decent in most areas, very good overall feeling, and no violence to speak of. Sorry, James. Dang, damn it! Would I recommend this game to you? Well, it depends. If you're looking for an action-packed adventure, not at all. But if you're looking for something to help you calm down after a rough day, this is the game for you. I hope you enjoyed Proteus as much as I did. This has been a game review with a Hexotic Council. Peace. Proteus was created by Ed K. and David Kaniga, published through Twisted Tree. I'll have a link to the Steam page in the description of the video. Leave a like.